Teaching multi-sensory learning can be helpful in developing a child's sense of touch. Parents can provide opportunities for activities that involve multiple senses, such as listening to music while playing with sensory toys or using scented Play-Doh. This allows children to explore different textures and develop their sensory integration skills. In conclusion, there are many effective ways to help children develop their sense of touch. Providing opportunities for sensory play, encouraging exploration, providing opportunities for messy play. Using sensory toys, encouraging outdoor play, developing fine motor skills, using massage, encouraging. Tactile exploration during daily activities, using books and stories to encourage tactile exploration, and encouraging multi-sensory learning are all effective strategies. By using a combination of these methods and adapting them to the child's individual needs and interests. Parents can help their child develop a strong sense of touch and set them up for success in the future. Provide opportunities for texture matching. Texture matching involves matching objects with similar textures. Parents can provide opportunities for texture matching by setting up a texture board with different textures such as sandpaper, fabric, and foam. Children can then match objects with similar textures to the texture board. Encourage sensory walks. Sensory walks involve taking children on walks and encouraging them to explore different textures with their feet. Parents can take their child on walks in various environments such as grass, sand, and pavement, and encourage them to feel the different textures under their feet. Use different materials for art projects. Art projects can be a great way to help children develop their sense of touch. Parents can provide different materials for art projects such as tissue paper, fabric, and yarn, and encourage their child to explore the different textures while creating their art. Encourage play with natural materials. Natural materials such as rocks, shells, and pine cones can provide a variety of textures for children to explore. Parents can encourage their child to collect natural materials on walks and use them for sensory play and art projects. Use sensory bottles. Sensory bottles are bottles filled with materials such as glitter, beads, or water, and can provide a calming sensory experience for children. Parents can make sensory bottles with different textures and encourage their child to explore the different textures by shaking and rolling the bottles. Encourage texture descriptions. Encouraging children to describe the textures they are feeling can help them develop their vocabulary and communication skills. Parents can encourage their child to describe the textures they are feeling during sensory play or while exploring different materials. Use sensory kits. Sensory kits are kits that contain different materials for sensory play, such as rice, beans, and pom-poms. Parents can provide sensory kits for their child to play with and explore different textures. Encourage play with Play-Doh. Play-Doh is a great material for children to play with and explore different textures. Parents can provide different materials such as cookie cutters, rollers, and textured stamps to encourage their child to explore different textures while playing with Play-Doh. Use sensory tables. Sensory tables are tables filled with different materials for sensory play, such as sand, water, or rice. Parents can provide sensory tables for their child to play with and explore different textures. Provide opportunities for texture sorting. Texture sorting involves sorting objects by texture. 